Hey guys, Stephanie Stallworth. I'm so excited. I got a brand new television show starting on Preach the Word Worldwide Network Television. It's called The Flow. It's going to be Monday mornings, 6.30 a.m. Start your work week off with me, Stephanie Stallworth, and join The Flow. We're going to be having some inspirational time, a little motivation, uplifting, praising and worshiping in the flow. So I look forward to seeing you on Preach the Word Worldwide Network Television, online at PreachTheWordNetworkTV.com. Find us on all social media at The Flow Network, The Flow Television Network, or The Flow Television. Looking forward to seeing you. Follow us. We'll follow you back. We'll see you Monday mornings, 6.30 a.m. in The Flow. Hey y'all, it's Stephanie Stallworth. I don't know about you, but for me, we're here in the coronavirus pandemic. I've been thinking a lot about my health, a lot about weight loss. You know, you pick up those coronavirus pounds, a lot about vitality, well-being, uh, my performance and ability to uh, be at my best, and even ways to make money from home, right? So wealth creation, that's the whole thing as well. I got a website I want you to check out. It's stephaniestallworth.isogenics.com, stephaniestallworth.isogenics.com, and check it out. See if there's something on there for you to help your weight loss goals, your vitality, your well-being, your performance, or if you need a way to create some wealth for yourself. You can check all that out on my Isogenix program website. Be glad to see you there on the web. Join me as we journey to wellness. It's Isogenix, the art of well-being. What the what though? Why y'all so close though? <laughs> what on earth? Why am I so close? Hey, it's Stephanie Stoll with Adele Driving Lady. Good morning. Is it still morning? Yeah. Well, oh, it's still morning. We got out of church a little early today. That was nice. Stephanie Stallworth. Oh, heading home from the church flow. Nice service at New Birth Missionary Baptist Church. Hope you guys got a little worship in some way today. You can always join us. We'll be glad to have you. An awesome time. I had a friend I brought today. Well, I didn't bring them, but I had them go. And um, they're a former New Birth member. And it said, hey, you need to come back. So uh, they came back to visit today. So that was nice. So if you're a former New Birth member, you should come back, right? Check it out for yourself. Check it all out for yourself. So what's right for you is right for you. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. Hey Connie, how are you girl? You doing good? Happy Sunday. I'm on my way back from church already, which is good. Usually we're just getting out around 11.30, something like that. So I got around about 11, maybe just after 11. Hey Panda, what's up girly girl? Hey, did your friends ever come down here to do birth, fam? I think you said they were looking for a place. I don't know if they ever came to visit that, visit our church or not. So, anyway, hopefully they did and liked it. If not, hopefully at least they found something. Tell them to come on back. Come on back and see about us. All right. Panda, what you doing, girl? I miss you. I haven't been up here in so long. My parents and them have been down here a lot, so that's been good. But we didn't get to come home and see you guys. Or when you come back to visit your uh, friend down here. Yeah, Pam, let me know. I want to see ya, lady. I need to see ya, see ya, see ya as we're going all around Atlanta. Okay. You ain't come to my house this time. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are good. All right, so we're out a little early. It's before 12 noon. I got miles to go before I sleep. It's been all of yesterday. Back and forth two times taking myself back to school because I forgot some stuff. But it's actually a good thing because um, 
have where his key didn't work, his electronic key, he couldn't even get locked the door, unlock the door, anything. And then someone hacked into his bank account, so we had to handle that. So, it was a long day on the road and doing college kid stuff. So I didn't get to do anything I was supposed to do. I'm going to do it today, I promised myself. I will handle all my business from yesterday to today, so it's going to be a busy day. Uh, who knows a barbershop open? I'm going to take my other son to get his hair cut. He joined uh, the Marine Corps Junior ROTC at high school. And he's been in high school two weeks. And he's got to get his hair cut again. They said at least every, every week, every, at least every two weeks. Every week if you can, at least every two weeks. So I guess it's time he wants to, you know, be within specs. He's pretty serious about that business. So I can respect that. Find him a barbershop out here today, and then uh, take care of all my business at home. And for my class, yeah, I got, I got another class starting this week. Georgia Military College. What's up? Um, Langston Hughes High School. What's up? This is Professor Stallworth. <laughs> I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Uh, we will be uh, having some speech class. Actually, we're going to have interpersonal communication this time. It's not public speaking. You all moved up a little bit. You're in the uh, different 200 level class. So we will do that. It's going to be great. going to be great. Hey, Brian. What's up? How are you? So I had a, um, I teach a couple schools. So another school I teach at SAE, downtown Atlanta. They uh, have me teach, a, I think I have to teach three classes there right now. So one of them is in a night course. So Tuesday evening, that class was giving their informative speeches. So they're informing us about, informative speech can be about an object, a concept, a process, or an event that you inform about. So one student was giving us an informative speech about the process of singing a hymn, how to sing a hymn, and what you need to be thinking about. So in the speech, part of his presentation was he sang a hymn. <laughs> and he tore the whole classroom and the next classroom over is so I post a video. I don't know if I put it on here. I'm probably put it on Facebook. But I got it on my Instagram and my Twitter at ATL Traffic Lady. Find and follow me at ATL Traffic Lady. Check that out. Uh, but yes, he did that. He sang Amazing Grace. No, he sang Amazing Grace. I mean, he tore that school up. They were just like, we can't even have class. We have a church. <laughs> I mean, I knew he was gonna he might sing something, but I know he's gonna go full out. I mean, he went full out. So, um, you know, that's what's up. Frank Lewis Jr. at Frank Lewis Jr. at Sang Frank Lewis Jr. on Instagram at Frank Lewis Jr. on Twitter. I think he's Frank Lewis Jr. on Facebook too. So I'm gonna post that on Facebook. I already put it on Twitter and IG. He goes to House of Hope Church with E. Dewey Smith. I said, oh, we got to get you to come visit New Birth. <laughs> so, hey, Pastor Jamal. Hey, New Birth family. So, uh, yeah, check that out on my um, Twitter at ATL Traffic Lady or my IG at ATL Traffic Lady. I'm going to try to put it on here a little bit later on today. Hey, Jim Smith. Hey, Chris. How you guys doing? Talking. Not even looking. I'm to stop right now. But, yeah, oh, he sang that. And then... I mean, since he tore it up so much, the other teacher had to come from the other classroom and and say, we can't even have class. The kids are saying, we have a church. So she came over and said, you say that. So I couldn't let him just go sit down after that. And he finished his speech. I'm like, okay, you got to offer us another selection, sir. <laughs> so he's like, okay, okay. So he's thinking, thinking, and I'm thinking, boy, he really needs to sing the blood. I need, I need to hear the blood right now. You know what I mean? And sure enough, as I thought that, he starts singing the blood. And I'm like, yes! So, oh, it was really good. So, I said, like, bet you never had a speech class like mine. But, yeah, so we, uh, you know, all those students, they, they move you a lot with their um, personal narratives and stuff. They've experienced lots in life and, and go through lots and been through lots and are going through lots. So, uh, there's lots of moving, touching stories. But this one moved us in a different way, right? So, we ended up... <laughs> 
you know, out here praising and stuff. It was just nice. It was just real nice. So y'all gotta check that video out. It's Frank Lewis Jr., ladies and gentlemen. Frank Lewis Jr., one of my students at SAE, Atlanta campus. They're gonna come take my speech class over there, okay? We have a lot of fun. It's just a lot of good, a lot of good folks, a lot of good fun, a lot of good learning, and you know, they, they improve. Giving speeches and public speaking is um, the biggest fear in humans. On the spiders and heights and all that other stuff. The fear of public speaking. And public speaking skills are one of the highest sought skills for employers too. So I always tell them, if you are the best in your field, you're the, you're the top at what you do, but you can't speak to people publicly, you can't present, they may select somebody else besides you who is less skilled and talented but can hold a room. You know what I mean? haven't uh, felt comfortable speaking in public, try to, try to work on that a little. Try to make yourself like Toastmasters is a way to do it, or take a class somewhere, or talk to some people who do it well. Uh, get some tips, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But a lot of the students, they just do so well. Especially the ones who uh, are petrified to come up there and say anything. playback on the video or anything. It's like, I don't even want to hear to see it because he wanted to leave the room. And then by the end, he's up there doing his speech and he's going on and on like 20 minutes. I'm like, wow. I said, you really holding the room now. And he's like, yeah, it was crazy. Said, it didn't feel like 20 minutes. No, it doesn't feel like 20 minutes. So I'll give him some skills and, and um, techniques to help him through that nervousness thing. And, and what you can do, you know, if you feel nervous. So, you know, anyway. I digress. Uh, check the video out. Frank Lewis Jr. did the doggone thing. At Frank Lewis Jr. Or that's on Facebook and Twitter. Or Sang Frank Lewis Jr. I think it's on IG. But I posted the videos on my pages at ATL Traffic Lady on Facebook. Well, I will do it on Facebook here. On Twitter and Instagram at ATL Traffic Lady. But yeah, so... So that, right? So then we had great church today, so that was good. And now I gotta go catch up with everything else on my plate. Um, so I'm gonna go in here, my boy's haircut, and uh, see what they'll say of the Lord. We gotta do the rest of the day. Hey, Steve Kendall, Yolanda Baby, what's up, Lamar? I'm gonna get that banana tree, Lamar, I promise you, whenever I get up there. Jim Smith, Chris Smith, P Panda. Hey, Brian, Connie, thank you guys for Hopping in with me. It's um, Sunday, 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 almost noon. And I'm hungry. I need to go eat something. I didn't want to eat this morning. So, hopefully, you're having a great day. Give someone a hug, love, send some words of goodness across uh, social media <laughs> and the internet. Is that how a lot of people connect these days? I mean, you never really know who you're reaching on social media. I know I was having some dark, long days when I was. Marriage was ending and things were going kind of crazy for us. But it was, I gotta admit, it was Facebook, time on Facebook to um, reaching out with people who knew the core real me, you know? Not the me who was down and feeling blue. The real me that still expected me to be me and remind me of myself, you know what I mean? So you never really know what uh, this platform does. This platform does a lot of things good, not so good in the middle. There's some good things that um, this, these platforms can do. So if you use it for good, you never know. You never know who's going to be uh, someone that you can uh, impact in a positive way. You don't know what people are going through. So yeah, definitely, I will say, reaching out to people on Facebook when I was going through some stuff back in the day really helped me rediscover my real self. You know, people turn you around and make you forget who you are <laughs> or forget whatever you offer you can offer to the world right so I'm just thankful to my Facebook friends I wasn't gonna get on there first and I said oh wow and then you know you start to see people you know and all that and it's been years now what 10 10 years since I've been on Facebook and 10 years ago was really tough times you know it's just so yeah but that be good to somebody out here. You don't know 
know what place people are in their lives and I mean, we see people share so much and uh, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's terrible news, sometimes it's sad, sometimes it's tragic, but a little bit of reaching out. I mean, here's a good example. If you're on Facebook and you are already wanting it, um, on your birthday, if you allow people to post on your page, some people don't allow anyone to post on their page, but if you do, how many birthday wishes do you get? So many, right? Isn't that great? I love Facebook birthdays. But that's just one small snippet of what could be good on Facebook. So spread good news and share some love with some people. Because again, you never know. They might be smiling on there, but you don't know what they're really going through. They may not even talk about it. But if you can reach somebody on there, it's a good thing. So I know a lot of friends reached me on there. And it was a very good thing. So, woohoo! I'm back to my real self. So it's all good. But anyway, uh, love you guys. Thank you for popping in. Um, happy Sunday. Hopefully you're going to have a super day. Tell me what's for dinner. <laughs> I'm going to go grocery shopping. I need some, some dinner menus for this week. Let me see what I want to plan to uh, serve. But you guys be good. Love y'all. Uh, check out the video. You'll be blessed by it. It's Amazing Grace and the Blood uh, on a Sunday. All right. It's at uh, ATL Traffic Lane on Twitter, ATL Traffic Lane on Instagram. I'm going to try to post it here on Facebook here in a little bit so you can see it on my page. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. Let's start adding some new content to that. So if you guys are into YouTube, uh, like and subscribe my channel. Stephanie Stallworth, the ATL Traffic Lady. Get ready to start uploading some uh, fancy new content. So click the little bell next to it so you can get notified when I get something new. But anyway, love y'all. Have a super Sunday. And, um, you know, share some love with somebody, all right? All right, I will see you guys back in the morning on uh, People Stage of View 103, ATL's number one, Facebook, and RV News and Talk 13, WAOK, Sports Radio, 929. Again, got your traffic updates for Atlanta. If you see anything, tweet me your traffic tips, okay? Love you guys. I will talk to you soon. I'm in this video. Hey, you guys, who's just popping in? Hey, who just popped in? Thanks for uh, coming to see me today. I'll be back soon. I'm hungry. I'm going to go get something to eat and take my boy to get a haircut. All right, love you. See ya. Bye.
from home? Who can work from home? Me. And you can too. Just go to whocanworkfromhome.me. That's whocanworkfromhome.me. Times are tough during this global pandemic. Many employers are allowing workers to work from home. Some will continue that trend. And some won't. You can work from home right now through the COVID-19 crisis and continue when conditions improve. I mean, most of us are used to being home now. Even if you are not. Starting or continuing to work from home would be super convenient especially now that most of our kids are going to school virtually. Working for yourself from home would also be a great help if you are at home caring for a loved one. Become a virtual call center representative with a Christ-centered company. Log on to who can work from home. Dot. Me. Right now. And start working from home. Earn income as a virtual call center rep. From the comfort of your home. Grab your phone or device. Go online and type in. Who can work from home? Dot. Me. Get the ball rolling. Today. Again. That's. Who can work from home? Dot. Me. Who can work from home? Dot. Me. That's all it takes to get started. Say it with me. Go online. Then. Say it to yourself. Who can work from home? Dot. Me. Who can work from home? Dot. Me. Hey y'all, I know we're in back to school time and we're trying to get some tests and some quizzes. I have a quiz for you, but this is for a healthy you, <laughs> the ultimate guide to a whole new you. Are you ready for the whole new you to come through? We're stuck in the quarantine and the pandemic. It's a great time to work on ourselves. So I've already gotten started. I want you to join me, stephaniestallworth.isogenics.com slash guide. Click take the quiz and it'll help you figure out which products might work to help you get to where you need to go and reach your goals here as we're quarantined in the house. You guys stay safe and stay connected. I'll see you on the website. Thanks for joining me in the flow. We are often told, God loves you. But what does that really mean? That some impersonal force, galaxies away, may consider you from time to time? Or that you are a single drop in a vast ocean of humanity and God cares for all of it? There are billions of lives, billions of stories, can we really believe he has great destinies planned for all of them? Surely the ruler of the universe has more important affairs than to notice the needs of one singular individual. But hear this, nothing could be further from the truth. When God says, I love you, it means that he crafted every detail of your being. Your every feature is His perfect design. His mind perceives your worries and your thoughts. His heart is broken by your pain. You are His child, created in His image. Your value exceeds all the riches of earth. Your worth extends beyond the stars. And though you may be unaware, He's carefully constructing the events of your life to build His kingdom. If you are willing, He can and will achieve wonders through your hands. It is the deepest passion, the most meaningful promise. It is your security, your hope, and your future. It is the truth beyond doubt. God loves you. Yes, God loves you. 
Accept God in your heart today as your Lord and personal Savior. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus is the Son of God that he suffered and died on the cross to save us from our sins. He rose from the dead and he sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. It's so easy and such a wonderful change of life for you. And just get yourself a personal relationship with our Lord and Savior. So if you just say, Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God and that you died on the cross to save us from our sins and you rose again from the dead. And I want you to be my Lord and Savior. Believe that you've been saved and go ahead and find yourself a wonderful church and a place to fellowship. Of course, we're in COVID-19, that makes it more difficult, but everyone's streaming online. There's lots of ways to interact with some folks out there. Check them out on their social media, their Facebook pages. Churches have all of those. And it's just a nice way to connect with some folks while we're stuck here in the quarantine times. Won't you take the Lord's hand today? Hey, it's Stephanie Stallworth. How y'all doing? I wanted to invite you to be part of the flow. I'd love for you to send us your videos here. If you want to be part of the Monday Motivation Millennial Moment, you have a motivational uh, word for some folks out there, young folks, that's for you. And the rest of us, yeah, we're young too. But anyone else who has a good testimony, or something you'd like to share, send it to us on the video. Our email is theflowtelevision at gmail.com. Looking forward to having you join us on The Flow. We'll feature some of your videos on the show on Monday mornings. It's Stephanie Stallworth. You're in The Flow.